Denis, let, let's start where we once finished with a longer interview, and then I think it's almost yeah more than two years ago. Yeah, three years. Um, yeah, it, it was about a project with a C2, a K1, and a C1. Since that time, I've seen you becoming from a very good athlete till one of the best athletes in the world. Do you think that the project with C2 and that, that contributed to, to your development? Certainly, yeah. yeah. Sure that uh, from uh, 2008 when we, uh, be we begin the, the, the training in C2 and trying to uh, uh, achieve the three uh, classes, uh, and now there is a, a big step, that's sure. Uh, yeah. How do you think that, that helped you? What, what do you think it yeah, contributed to you in your development? And I'm sure that it's, help, it's helped me to, uh, to be more confident in the start of uh, every race uh, because of the, the, lot, the lot of races I made. Um, it's also uh, improved my, uh, my strength, I think. But there was also some... Uh, some Fail, failure uh, from the, this project because uh, trying to make two classes is it's, it's proved that it's hardest the, than just one and I think it's also uh, bro broke my uh, my improvement yeah but do, do you think that without that project you ever would have become a world champion? I, I never know yeah. now uh, I, I just can say that uh, because I made it, uh, I, I, I succeed to, to improve my level in T1 and, uh, and also uh, we proved that we were a good, uh, a good C2 combination. Yeah. Let's look back at the French selections. There, unfortunately, well, you didn't make the, the Olympic spot. Um, how were the selections for you? How, how, how did it go? Well, selection uh, were a tough part for me because uh, uh, I think uh, I was well prepared. Uh, I had a lot of training in Australia uh, this winter, really focused on the on these races uh, uh, in Po. Um, well, he didn't make it. That's the life. Uh, I think it's it's happened in every uh, every career. Yeah. Some failure. I'm young. Uh, I would be a, uh, I would be a diva if I if I uh, if I give up. Yeah. So, how, how disappointed were you after these selections? And because now you say, okay, you know, it's part of a sport career, it's part of life. But at the time, how, how did you feel about it? Were you did you think of stopping maybe or? Well, everything it uh, happened in my uh, yeah across my 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 thought. Uh, stop, stop training, stop racing, uh, change sports. I didn't know really what's happening to me because I uh, passed from the maybe two races before it was uh, the World Championships where I won my first title, which uh, was a big dream for me. Yeah. And um, and then to the selection races or where I failed, so it was quite a uh, yeah, tough situation. Yeah, I guess you know it's a big difference from being, you know, becoming a world champion, realizing your dream, till, well, not yeah. not realizing your. And then wish. being nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, but but nevertheless, you decided to to continue racing. Well, well, well I choose first uh, not to think hmm. too much. Uh, I went to the European Championship to be there and uh, see what's happening. Uh, if I liked wha what uh, I do, paddling, if I liked racing, and uh, I thought that I like it, and also that I didn't like any more racing. But so uh, from the European to uh, uh, the World Cup in Po. Uh, it was a, a really important part if my, uh, on my um, summary of my, uh, the four years before. Yeah. Uh, I made quite, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, kind of summary like uh, uh, I count every races I made from, uh, from Beijing, 
yeah. uh, to uh, the selection. Uh, every step I made, for what every, every step back I made, uh, and now I can say what the mistakes uh, I made because of uh, the, the non-selection and what uh, I had to great and now it's it's in my uh, my head yeah, I, I yeah. want to keep it for me to what, what made you decide to continue racing I think I don't have any any nothing to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, you know I'm uh, I'm twen 24 I have no education no uh, um, no, yeah, no, no diploma, mm -hmm. uh, no study in my in my life. So uh, I'm just uh, a sportsman, with yeah. training and trying to uh, to uh, to to race well and uh, win some medal. Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing I know. So it was just a, a choice of a lo logical choice for me. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, and uh, if I'm, did, did you decide to stop with the C2? Yes. Yeah. Why, why did you decide make that decision? Uh, because uh, finally, uh, I just uh, I just realized that it, it was not the way I wanted to uh, to make sports. Yeah. Uh, I think with uh, my partner we had a, a lot of uh, differences. How we see. Uh, the sport each other, the strategy, uh, the relationship with uh, the, uh, the competitors. So I was not feeling well when I'm at the end. I think the thing I can share is that we, we stopped too late. I think we, um, the big success of our challenges, uh, our challenge was in Bratislava. Uh, we uh, all three had uh, a medal, yeah. so that was our goal, and we should have stopped there and uh, concentrate on each other. Okay, yeah, but uh, I think it's hard to to make that decision just before the selection race yeah. because once you're so close, you just want to try it. You know, yeah. you want to go for it. I think. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, but uh, I think. Uh, our coach Jean-Yves make, make he make the history because he he achieved to make us paddle together in Bratislava and that was not uh, a bet won uh, uh, in the summer because we already had the difficulties to uh, to be motivated together on the same boat so I think the big success is, uh, is Jean-Yves uh, who made us paddle uh, until Bratislava. And then I think uh, nobody asked uh, if we had to uh, continue or if we had to stop and that I believe it was a mistake. Mm. Yeah. Because maybe if we put each other on the table and, and talk, uh, I think we would stop after Bratislava. Yeah, yeah. You, you mentioned Jean-Yves. Uh, what do you think makes Jean-Yves a good coach? Well, I believe he is big. Uh, uh, the, 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 the most positive thing from, uh, to, uh, from him is that he never give up. He keep the faith all the time. Yeah. Faith in, uh, in uh, his athlete and faith of what he is doing. But that's also, in this case, uh, uh, a less, a, a less point, you know what I mean? Because I believe that he finish on a quite a, a failure, like a, in, in the selection, because we are all three uh, out. Yeah. And three, mo uh, well, uh, seven months before, he was the, 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 better, the best coach of the world. Yeah. So, I don't know, but it's not his fault, sure, uh, but he could have been uh, uh, at the Olympics training somebody uh, uh, if he if he, he 
if he if he says uh, that uh, we could not uh, be better after the World Championship. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, hey, and now we're here in, in Seo and hey, you're racing full on. Um, do you think about your future as an athlete, maybe in terms of what you would like to achieve? Do you may have becoming maybe second world title or maybe Rio or do you sometimes think about that? Yeah, yeah I'm thinking, sure. <laughs> but now uh, I choose to go step by step because I have to rebuild my, my confidence. Uh, it's starting to improve now. Uh, I'm not yet uh, on my top level, I, I think. It's did, did you lose some confidence? Or? Yeah, that, I think the, the, this is the only thing I lose. Because uh, at the training, I feel very fast. I think that I improved from last year, but it's just uh, sometimes, you know, uh, you can think it's the bad luck, you, you can think it's the less of confidence. I don't know. For now, uh, I'm just uh, trying to, uh, to rebuild some confidence and, uh, and some dream also in, in my uh, career, so I can show myself that I can come back. Yeah. And uh, that's the only thing I want now. Yeah. Well, sounds like a good goal in life, I think. <laughs> Hey Denis, well, thank you very much. Thank Good you. <laughs>